Right, so what I'm going to show you now is how I attach this GoPro style attachment for the frame for my GoPro cameras. So they're both aluminium, they're nice and strong, they're not brittle, they don't break. So we can leave the frame out for a second. So this one here will go on the end of the, the fore end of the stock. It takes a little bit of filing and flattening off but uh, and cutting that off but it works really good and the end product is my camera is mounted on here and that's so you can see all the the barrel shots of when I shoot the sheep etc so the first thing I'm going to do is obviously take the rifle to bits so it's Ruger 1022 very simple bolt there and an allen key there right there so I'll take this off and through the magic of television, I'll speed it up. Right, so I don't need the barrel at the minute. So there's the stock. So, because this is an afterthought making a video, I've already cut off the front of my barrel to make it flush and square. So I've done that at right angles to the barrel. So that means that that sits at 90 degrees. So hopefully that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So then what I do is I wanted to get the center of that stock to drill the hole out. So I've marked it out and done a few things and made sure it's center. Then I've drilled the hole out, which fits this countersunk screw for the thread on there. It doesn't need to be very long because it's going to sit in there and there's not much of the fore end of the barrel. Not much thickness there and by the time it's countersunk it'll, it'll come out quite a lot. So I've done that and I've also countersunk it. So you don't actually have to have a countersunk screw, you can have a bolt because this is out of the way. It's, there's no interference with the barrel at all because it sits under the barrel. So you can use a, a bolt if you like, up to you. So what I do is now I've got that hole drilled and countersunk. I'll put that into there somehow with a bit of jigging around. And then I will screw it up. It's, it's not super tight, but it's, it's just a little bit of a thread in there. I don't want to make it really, really loose. So now that's that. It's in there. It won't come out, but I'm going to glue it in later on. So then I thread this on to where I want this positioned on the stock. So I obviously don't want it where it is. I want to bring this around more so it's more up and down. So I will unscrew that just a tad just a little bit so that's about pretty much where I want it pretty much straight up and down as you can see I'm not quite central when I did my hole but it's not critical so now you can see that that piece of aluminium is going to get in the way of the barrel so what I'll do is I'll mark that and I'll cut it out It's the same with the magic of television. I'll do it quite quick. So as you can see, there's the shape of the barrel. So what I'll do is I will not necessarily cut it out for that shape, but what I might do is just go straight across to make it very simple. So I'll put it in the vise here. I'm just going to cut it straight across there. So 
So now that I've cut it straight across there, I want to just file it up, make it nice and clean and, and tidy. There you have it, ready to go on the barrel. So I'll just put it back on here. So now that I've cut it off, I'll put it back in here and see how she fits. So now I can see that there's plenty of clearance for that for the barrel to go over the top there. It's not going to hit it. So uh, that's just beauty. So what I'll do now is I'll take that screw out and I'll just put a bit of Loctite 406 in there. And what that does stops everything moving around. So a bit of Loctite 406. Bloody great stuff. Don't get it on your hands. So I'll just put a bit on here as well. A little bit in that thread. A little bit on that thread there. And a little bit on that countersink. Put that in there and make sure you don't get your fingers because it'll hurt when you try and rip it off. So I just want to check that that's reasonably straight and it's not. better nice and straight so now that's all tickety-boo I will give it a bit of a tighten hopefully it won't move there you go so now she's nice and tight ready for me to put it back on the rifle just one last check that there's any gaps and there's not so it's uh, all good There she is, all back together. That didn't take long. So now I'll get my frame. And that's how it will sit in there. Get my screw. As you can see, it's around about 90 degrees. But that's where I want it, so I'll screw that up quite tight. That will stay there when I'm shooting. So that's when you get the barrel shots. The, the barrels are on top of the screen.
So there you have it. Putting the GoPro camera onto a Ruger 1022.